Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you really quickly how to use the glyphs, the alternates, and the ligatures in many of the fonts I sell on Creative Market and through my own site. So today I'm gonna to show you with Amaro, um, and again, this works for many of the script fonts that I sell, so the principles are the same. But if you need to access any of the ligatures and you're having a hard time finding them, all you need to do is go to the glyphs panel right there. And if you don't have it right there, you can go up to window and select glyphs and it'll pull this menu up for you. And what that does is pull up every single character in the font. So you can go in and select whichever one you need uh, from this menu by double clicking and it'll insert it in there for you. If you want to access alternates a little bit more simply, all you need to do is, like let's say you were editing this word and you wanted to replace this M to make sure it doesn't look like that one. All you have to do is highlight it and this little menu comes up at the bottom with all of the alternates available for that letter. So all I would do is just click that one and it'll replace it. Super simple. Um, and then I also make sure that in my character panel, which is this here, and again, you can go up to window character if you need to. I make sure my automatic ligatures button is turned on. So basically what that does is anytime it detects a combination of two letters that has a ligature available for it, it'll just automatically put it in there. So if you turn it off, it's gonna take out any ligatures that were there. So you go from that to that when you turn that button on. And it just automatically inserts all of those for you. Um, if you also wanna use this button, um, actually here, this is the standard alternates bu button and it does what highlighting and selecting will do with every letter in the word. So if you wanted to uh, edit something that used two of the same word, so let's say polka. <laughs> um, you're making a polka logo. So if you wanted to make sure this word looks different than this one, all you need to do really is turn on your ligatures and then you can go in and turn on your alternates too. So now your A's are gonna be different and your P's are gonna be different. So without having to go through and pick different letters for everything, you can just with two buttons completely change the look of the word. So yeah, your character panel using these buttons here, turning those on and off, and then your glyphs panel has everything included in the font just right there for you. So if you guys have any other questions, please comment or email, let me know. Um, I love helping you guys out and just giving you tools that you need to be the best designers you can be.